Hey guys, today I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step way to get someone you don't like banned from Magic the Gathering. This is a proving technique and Wizards of the Coast and its investigators are really into this. I mean, they're probably the biggest supporters of this technique. So why would you use this? Well, you need to use it, let's say you're a Magic Pro and people are not very happy with you because you either cheated or you're cheating on somebody and you need to somehow turn the tables. This would be the perfect strategy for you. So first of all, you say something kind of ridiculous. In my case, everything is out in the open. Remember that first sentence because it's going to be very important later. I'd love to see some of Jeremy's supporters get out of their parents' basements and tell us who they really are and find out what very moral people can do. So you tweet something and you get all your likes. In this case, you get 11 likes and four comments. You feel really proud of yourself and you wait for a response. It's kind of like fishing. You put your worm on the little hook and now you're throwing the worm out in the ocean and you're hoping something bites. Now you're not hoping for a shark and you're definitely not hoping for a lion. You're hoping for maybe a little flounder, a sea bass, a small sea bass of some type, but not in apex predator. Next, you get a response. Be brave, Jacob. Don't be a coward. Weakest Magic the Gathering judge ever week. So this is what you were looking for and unfortunately you hooked the wrong predator. You were hoping to hook a little minnow so you could smash the minnow's face in and then even get even more likes. But instead you hooked a line because it turned out that you weren't on a fishing boat, you were on a blanking safari trip. Terrible mistake Jacob. All right. Hey all, it has been brought to my attention that this series of videos exist in response to some comments I made that were made on Twitter regarding my stance on MTG headquarters, revealing information about magic judges. These last couple of days have been difficult. Here you have to garner some empathy, some sadness, you have to present. It's kind of interesting because the video says he's weak and He's already kind of admitting that's happening. Uh, and this really is the last thing I need. If you could, please report the video. If you watch it and don't want to, then don't. No hard feelings or anything. Just need a little help from the community on this one. Many thanks in advance. Always make sure to drag the community in because that makes you look way holier than now. Hey community, I need your help, bros. All right. so. Then you wait for the community response. And they'll say, oh, I hate MTG Lion. I hate him so much. And here, I'll be very honest with you guys. I'm not beloved. I'm not Tolarian, right? I'm not getting free tickets everywhere. And in fact, there are plenty of people waiting for the opportunity to jump, jump out at me. And yeah. So let's read this. MTG Lion is a bully, nothing more, nothing less. We got your back. You have many friends who actually know you, you accomplishments, and know his tripe for what it truly is. And when someone says something that disagree, you disagree with, you, or when someone asks you that, hey, should we really be targeting harassment on this video by targeted flagging this video? I don't agree with him in the slightest, and I think his point is pretty null and void. But on what basis would you report the video? Question mark. He hasn't done anything, and even the shady people are allowed to be wrong. Let his idiocy shine. Simply put, I just don't want the video to let other people find me on social media or otherwise. Already had a few strange follow requests. I know whenever I get a few strange follow requests, I just hide under my bed and cry. Am I mean or what? But he, one thing that he did that really upset me, and we'll get to this slide a little later. So part one, tweet something that is mildly offensive 
wait for someone to make a video about you, go on your Facebook page and now claim that you're the victim and you need the community's help, claim that MTG Lion is just the worst dude ever and he's anti-community and he hates me for no reason. High ground. There's truly no logic or sense to be found in these people. Like, who are these people? Like, wasn't it just me? <laughs> Laugh out loud, that video is toxic. So when you look at that little love sign with little one, who do you think that is? Jacob's mom. It's Jacob's mom. <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course, it's just Jacob, which is even worse than Jacob's mom. So... You garner support, now you're the victim. Although you initially started this, you wanted a response. You were fishing for little minnows and then you hooked a lion and you were just like, oh shit, it's a lion. Well, whose fault is that? Is it my fault that I read your tweet? I, at this point, I didn't know any of this stuff was going on. Like, I didn't realize that, you know, I made a video and it was an amusing video for me because I felt like I should at least defend the, not the HQ supporters, that's not my point. I was trying to defend people who live in their parents' basements and saying that, hey, you know, sometimes life is tough. I get it. A lot of people I hire don't come from backgrounds like mine. I'm very blessed. I do understand I came from a family that did provide me things that other people were not provided. So I get that. And I like to provide the experience like that. I hire gas station cashiers. Many of you still find that kind of strange, but I want to give people a chance at life. And there, if you cannot train loyalty, all right, tangent over unsleeve media here, we have magic judges pleading inside their Facebook group. So not only did he post this, he posted it on a private Facebook group and we all know that you can get banned for posting stuff on private Facebook groups, right? This is really wanting me to play more dirty. There's nothing wrong with the video. Don't take it down. And this is the first time I was like, wait a second. J what, what is Jacob doing? Because imagine my surprise, right? Where Jacob's painting himself as the victim. I mean, he started this. And now somehow he's the victim. And here is how to get someone banned. Because Wizard of the Coast doesn't care his original tweet. He doesn't care that he's trying to take down my video for... Even he admits for no reason then he doesn't want to be found on social media, although the video is entitled his name. If I wanted him to be found, I would title the video, Jacob blank 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 is a... So the next slide, I'm going to go ahead and say like, this is the typical way to do it. All right, somebody hurt your feelings. Do you fight back? In public, do you ever tweet me? Do you have an open open he's always open that's what he said he's always open and yet he's going behind my back on these private groups like and trying to get my video flagged and now he says live now with modern not gonna let bad people who are these bad people like does he just mean me like like apparently i'm people now <laughs> stop me from streaming and then <laughs> this is the title of my video so he, he calls the goddess Taylor Swift to defend him. Well, Taylor is a, she is vengeful. She is not going to defend you, Jacob. She's more akin to being just very spiteful. If you hear what she did with the Kim and Kanye, and it's pretty interesting. So we are going to try to shake it off and stream live. How long do you think this lasts? How long do you think this is going to last? Do you think he's going to keep going? He set himself a 365-day challenge to stream every day for the year. This is like day 10. Does he continue? Does he give up? I get roasted all the time. And sometimes for rightfully so. I will admit there are times that I act and behave not in the best way I can. And yes, I have been roasted by other YouTubers. Okay, back to my point. He summons the goddess Taylor Swift to defend him and protect him. Well, this goddess is a goddess of vengeance. And you started this. Or are you going to finish it? You being so open and all. No. 
The answer is it is not finished. He decided his 365 day challenge is no more after five or 10 days. He just posted that he was going to shake it off. Then like on a few hours later, you can't shake it off. <laughs> I mean, what? Okay, so let me, let me go over the strategy. Strategy one, tweet something uh, offending people. Hoping that someone big replies to you so you can engage them and get a bunch of likes and comments and whatever, whatever BS that is. Then when you get a big person attacking you, pretend that you're the victim and talk about community, post in private Facebook groups. We, I mean, gosh, like, I wonder if you can get, ban get banned for that, right? And now you are the victim, you're the community champion, and now you're sad, and you need your friends and family to support you, and you need, you know, you need MTG Line to get attacked and harassed. And you need my video, MTG Line's video to get taken down. He started it, right? I made a video about his post saying I disagree with it. And it sounds really, really ridiculous um, that he would post something like that, where he, he wants the open discussion. He asks his, he at, read the tweet again and tell me he does, he says, I'm very open. I want you guys to tell me how you, who you are, I want you to dox yourselves. And then everything shuts down. His Facebook shuts down, his Twitter shuts down, and nothing is active anymore. His Twitch shuts down. It's for someone who's like really open and who wants conversation and who wants discussion and who wants all of this stuff, it's so odd that this is a scenario that plays out. How can this be? Like, how do we live in how? is this game and how am I getting banned for this? I was defending people who live in their parents' basements. Um, I live in Texas, we don't really have basements, but I've had really good workers who live with their parents. I don't see anything wrong with that. Save some money, go to an apartment, and they save money. I mean, they work six months here, they can save enough money to move with uh, their significant other, or a friend to get an apartment. And that, that makes me really proud. I get it. I get that life is difficult. I get that opportunities are not rampant for millennials. But that doesn't mean you should attack and assume that everyone who supports HQ or supports me lives in their parents' basements. And it doesn't mean that you should use living in parents' basements as something that's bad. I've been very outspoken. I think that if you can move out, you should move out and have independence. That's important. But, and here's my biggest but, I have no issues if you're saving money, you're working hard. Those are the type of employees I like hiring because they will be loyal to you because you have changed your life. And I've done this. And that's why it was personally offensive to me I felt like, huh, this guy is not, I don't care if you sh say bad things about me. I'm me. I live a pretty awesome life, if I were to be honest with you. I enjoy my job. I love my job. I'll put it that way. I love being a boss. I love doing what I do. And I'm recognized for doing what I do. Like, by Google, by Microsoft Bing, although I turned down to Bing Awards because, honestly, like, I would rather set it on fire. And I love it. Um, I love it. But I understand that sometimes people have to be given chances. Sometimes people need a little opportunity. And making fun of making fun of people who live in their parents' basements, I think it's unacceptable. Especially given that he is a millennial as well in college for English major. I don't get it. I don't get it. And here People are looking to be offended. They don't want you, they don't want to talk, they don't want to discuss, they don't want open conversation. And this is the premise of Jacob's argument is I want to have open conversation with you 
And then once there is open conversation, he shuts down and he tries to flag down a video and then he makes up utterly BS excuses. And that's the same here is you have someone joining a private Facebook group for memes and jokes and then becoming the only reason that she would join the group is to be offended, right? That's, I, I don't know how long she was in the group, but I'm sure that she wasn't, you know, an active participant in the group. So people are always looking to be offended. But enough. Enough. Like, you don't think that eventually somebody will fight back? You don't think eventually someone's going to be like, wait a second, this, what this guy's tweeting is wrong. I'm going to clarify, and I'm going to use my social media to say why it's wrong. And I'm going to speak out for everyone who is maybe not in the best financial situation. Maybe they're trying to make, maybe they're in college, Jacob, like you. And maybe they're living at home to save money. That's smart. Why is that something to be offended? Why is that something that we have to say all Magic players live in their parents' basements? I never get that because there are some very successful Magic players. And even if you live in your parents' basement, even if, as long as you have a plan, as long as you have, you know, you're working hard and you're trying to change your life, you will change your life and you will be successful because you're strong. Much stronger than someone who says, I want open conversation and then immediately closes. So many people like in Magic are looking to, they switch this. It's kind of a, a bait and switch. They say something which is just completely wrong or they join a, face, a private Facebook group just to be offended, take screenshots of everybody and everything and just start posting it. And then suddenly they're so offended that they, they're shaking. Didn't you look to be offended? Like, what do you think would be in a Facebook group called Magic for Bad? Good magic? Magic for good? <laughs> like, you know, I, so I find it, it's very interesting. Um, the strategy that people are using to ban others is they attack, 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 attack. Then they get attacked. Then they play the victim. And suddenly the person who was initially defending the people he was attacking is now the bad guy. They invoke all types of language like community and I'm shaking in anger. And luckily I didn't have to deal with this. At the end of the day, you know, you can bark all you want, but if someone bites you, what are you gonna do then? You're gonna keep barking? Cause that's not gonna work. So anyway, my point is very simple. If you look to be offended, you will be offended. Pretty simple, right? If you join a Facebook group that says MTG line sucks, what do I expect to find in that private Facebook group? Really awesome memes about me? Like, oh, MTG Lions, best League of Legends player. So he's so smart. Like what? Like, why would I ever expect to find good things about me? Like the same with like the stupid amino app. Do I ever expect those Amino people to like me? Blank no. I'm never going back. I don't care what they say about me because I'm not going to look at it. So like, why am I trying to be offended? Like, why am I actively looking to be offended? Answer, to grow my social media. There you go. Bye.